keep trying to find an angle where you can't see the mess that is my bedroom. It's not working. It's a disaster everywhere. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. So I'm very excited to be vlogging again. I did daily vlogs for the Reading Rush a couple weeks ago and that was a task. <laughs> the first day where I didn't have to do a daily vlog for the Reading Rush, I woke up and was so relieved that I didn't have to vlog and film the whole thing and edit it and upload it. It was just such a nice feeling and I was like, I don't want to vlog ever again. But by the end of this past week, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm excited to start vlogging again. I'm going to start a weekly vlog next week. So here we are. <laughs> also, if you want to check out my Reading Rush vlogs, I will have a link to a playlist with all of them uh, up in the cards or down below in the description if you want to go and check them out because it was a lot of work. So I'd love any love and appreciation on them that I can get. But yeah, we're back with another weekly vlog. I'm very excited to be vlogging again. And let's just talk about what I'm planning on reading first. So I started Wicked Fox this past weekend. I'm up to page 70, um, which is chapter 8, so I'm not super far into it, but I am enjoying it so far. I mean, I haven't had that many like thoughts because I'm only 70 pages in, so I don't know. I'm enjoying it, but I'm excited to see like where it goes. It is a book that a lot of people that I follow have kind of given a variety of uh, reviews on and ratings, so I'm interested to see how I will feel about it. And I decided to start this month off with Wicked Fox because of a few reasons. One, I just wanted to read Wicked Fox this month. I've been very excited to pick this up recently. I've been wanting to read this book for a while and then I finally got a copy of it and now I'm very excited to read it. So I just wanted to read it because I wanted to. <laughs> but also there is a new book club that I think just got announced like recently and it's the Winers Book Club, the Winers Club or something. I will have the Twitter and the Instagram link below if you want to go and check it out. But they decided to read Wicked Fox for their first book club pick for the month of August, so I thought I would read it along with them. And then I also saw that there is a readathon happening in the month of August called the Read Until You Drop-a-thon, I think. Um, it's hosted by Karis from Library of Karis. Hopefully I'm saying her name correctly. But I saw all the prompts and just saw that it was like a very chill sort of readathon. I was like, you know what? I might as well participate. So I'm going to be very, 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 very low-key participating in that readathon. There's like 30 different prompts and there's different colors and you can kind of go about it in your own way. Like you can either just pick a certain color or colors to read the prompts from or you can pick one from each color. You can kind of do whatever you want. But what I decided to do was I wrote down all of the prompts in markers that kind of like correspond with the colors on the her prompt picture thing. And what I did is I cut them out and then put them in this little bag. So I just have a bunch of the prompts in here and I'm just going to kind of pick one randomly throughout the month and that will determine my next read. But I'm going to be very chill about it if I pick a prompt where a book that I have on my physical TBR or a book that I want to read on like Hoopla or Libby or something, if I can't find a book for that I will just put the prompt back and pick something else. Um, I don't want to be like too intense about it, especially because I've done so many readathons this year, which like is fine. I like readathons. I do them because I enjoy doing readathons, but I also like just did the reading rush in July and then I'm going to be doing another readathon in September. Wink wink. Hint hint. <laughs> But I didn't want to do a readathon this month because I just like didn't want to feel like I was being forced to read things all the time. <laughs> so that's why I thought I would like very low key participate. Um, so I'm going to pick prompts, but if they don't work and they don't fit for something that I actually want to read, then I'm just going to pick something else or read something else. So it's not going to be super intense. But because I wanted to read Wicked Fox, what I decided to do was I had already written it out and started to fold it up and I was like, wait, I need it. But the prompt that says read a book that one of your fave bookish content creators rated five stars, I decided to use that for Wicked Fox because Chloe from Books with Chloe loves Wicked Fox, so I figured that would work. And then that's also getting a prompt done, so I'm very interested to see how many prompts I can actually do while being very low-key about it. But I also thought it would just be kind of fun to use those like in the future and then maybe like add my own sort of prompts and not do anything like where I have to do a TBR game and like have to pick them every single month or pick a certain amount every month because that just won't work for me. <laughs> but I think it might be fun to do like every once in a while if I want to pick a future read. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say in this intro. I had a lot of things to say. I don't talk to you people for a week and I'm like exploding with information. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Very excited to be vlogging again. I mean, my vlogs are not that interesting because we can't really do much right now, but I'm still excited to be vlogging again. I feel like it gives me an excuse to have boring vlogs, even though my vlogs are always boring and I never leave my room 
prior to a pandemic, but now I have an excuse. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and finish my coffee and then probably have something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet today. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. And I feel like I end every clip saying, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I need to work on that. <laughs> okay, so like I said earlier, my room is a disaster. So I've decided to clean it. What you can't see is the piles and piles of clothes on my bed right now. Yeah it's fine. So what caused my room to be a disaster is I did laundry and I folded them and then I just put them on my floor instead of putting them away immediately. So then I just stayed there for weeks. I'm also thinking about kind of doing a little bit of reorganization in my closet because the way that I have things set up now doesn't really make the most sense and I've kind of realized a different way might be a better way to store my clothes in my closet. So I'm probably going to do that because I might as well while I'm putting a bunch of clothes away. And yeah, I need to vacuum. I need to clean off my desk because that's also sort of a mess. I also need to change my bed sheets. We just are going to be in room cleaning disaster mode all day today. <laughs> so if there aren't a lot of updates, not a lot of reading going on today, that's why. <laughs> my room is officially clean. Thank goodness. I think I started cleaning my room like four hours ago, maybe five hours ago. It didn't feel like it took that long, but I guess it did. But it is pretty clean for the most part. I do need to put my sheets on my bed, but for the most part, I have floor again, so I think it's a win. So now that my room is clean, I think I'm going to do some reading, because um, I haven't read anything all day, so I'd really like to. Um, and yeah, that is really the update. I mean, we all know my life is not very exciting, so that's all. <laughs> It is now Tuesday. It's a little after 1 p.m. It's 101, so very much a little after 1 p.m. I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a reading update. So I did do some reading last night and then this morning. I started reading chapter 12 and then got distracted because I needed to shower and then I started doing like planning out YouTube videos and stuff like that and then I just stopped in the middle of a chapter. So I'm in the middle of chapter 12. I'm on page 110 or 111. So I have made a little bit of progress and I am enjoying it so far. I feel like it's gonna definitely focus more on the relationship between these two characters, like the main two characters, than anything else, which I kind of went into it knowing that there was gonna be a focus on the romance and like the relationship. So, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I also think a lot of the stuff with like the Korean culture and Korean folklore is very interesting because the main character, the main female character is a gomiho. I probably should look it up how to say that. It's a nine-tailed fox, which is a Korean folklore story. Gumiho, 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 Gumiho. <laughs> so Gumiho, I think is how you say it, Gumiho. I don't know. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But I think a lot of the Korean folklore stories and like creatures that we're learning about is really interesting. There's also a glossary in the back, which is really nice. Um, I feel like I should like put like, a sticky note on here so I can go back and reference it because there's like a couple pages of just like vocab and like what things mean. But yeah, I definitely am enjoying it so far. Um, it's very quick to read. It's very entertaining. I'm very interested to see kind of how everything kind of comes together or if it doesn't come together because I think there is a sequel to this. I think the sequel is actually coming out in August. I think it's coming out this month. So maybe if I finish in time and I enjoy it, I will pick up the sequel soon. I love not having to wait for the sequels. <laughs> so that is a little bit of a reading update. I think I'm going to go back to kind of planning videos and stuff like that because I do have a video that I have to film and get up on a certain date. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> another hint. So I need to figure out everything for that video and I have a lot of other videos that I want to film for this month so I need to kind of get everything figured out. I also want to do some journaling because I found a lot of pictures last night for a couple of different spreads so I kind of want to do that as well. I also have to caption my video that's going up on Friday so I think this calls for another cup of coffee to help motivate me. <laughs> Not like I need a reason to have another cup of coffee. It doesn't take much to convince me. <laughs> but yeah, those are my very exciting Tuesday afternoon plans. It's not very exciting. <laughs>
hello happy wednesday we have no power and it's so quiet in my house i feel like i'm talking so loud so last night at like 11 p.m we lost power and it was kind of funny i had like just gotten ready for bed brushed my teeth did my skincare did my journaling uh got into bed got open a run bts episode got like five minutes into it and the power went out like okay <laughs> and i was at 11 p.m last night and it's now quarter past 10 in the morning. I just woke up like a half hour ago because I had the most difficult time sleeping last night. I think I'm extra sure of it being so quiet in here. Like it's so quiet I feel like I'm talking so loud <laughs> but I'm not. I think it was a mixture of the quiet and like the fans and the AC not being on and then also the fact that it was really hot because those things weren't on. Um, it's gonna be like I think in the upper 80s maybe in the 90s today so Hopefully it comes back soon so we can turn the AC and the fans back on because if not, I'm not gonna do well. It's already really hot in here. Like, it's okay. Like, I'll be okay I think for a little bit, but it's definitely the warmer it gets outside, the warmer it's gonna get in here. So, not looking forward to that. <laughs> Luckily, my mom made cold brew last night, so I still had coffee for this morning, which is good because I was stressed a little bit about having coffee in the morning and then I remember my mom made cold brew, so all is well. I'm having coffee. <laughs> so yeah, because we have no power, no Wi-Fi. Uh, my phone's at like 50 something percent so I'm trying not to use it. I guess I have no excuse to not read because <laughs> that's like all I can do. I mean I might play Animal Crossing because it's right next to me. My switch is like over halfway charged so maybe that'll happen instead. <laughs> but hopefully our power comes back soon. It says that it's going to come back around 11. That's like the estimated time so hopefully that happens because I'd be in like 45 minutes. Um, ideally that would be that would be great but We'll see. But yeah, that is, uh, that's what's going on right now. I was going to film videos today, but that's not happening. I'm not filming on a day where I don't have the AC and the fans to save me because I already get really warm filming, especially in my room in the summer, um, because having the blinds open, it gets really hot in there. And even when the AC and the fans are on, it does get really warm in there. So I'm not going to do it when the AC and the fans aren't working. <laughs> so I guess I can't film today, which is a bummer. I guess. <laughs> I'm not that bothered by it. I'm gonna go and play Animal Crossing, read, that's all I can do, drink my coffee, stare outside, try not to sweat. I don't know. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> so hello, it is now Thursday. We are blessed. We are back with power. We are back with AC. <laughs> Yesterday just made me realize how grateful I am to have a house with air conditioning. <laughs> so I think I did tell you guys yesterday that we had no power and the first estimated time for our power to come back was 11 a.m. That was wrong. The second estimated time was 1 p.m. That was also wrong. <laughs> but then it was like right before 3 p.m. and it was still saying 1 p.m. And then it ended up changing to 6 p.m. So I wanted to cry at that point. <laughs> but then it ended up coming back at 3.30, so that was nice. And again, like I said, very grateful for air conditioning. Don't know how people live without it. I'm very lucky. <laughs> so because we had no power for a majority of the day yesterday, I did get a lot of reading done. Um, I did play a little bit of Animal Crossing, and I didn't play too much just because I didn't want the battery on the Switch to die. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't know when our power was going to be coming back on, so I didn't want my Switch to die. And then me and my dad did go for like a half hour long drive just to get in the AC and so I could charge my phone. Um, but other than that, I spent the majority of the time without power reading. Um, I did do like a little bit of reading once power came back on, but for the most part, I read like 130 something pages, I think when the power was out. So clearly I'm enjoying Wicked Fox because I wouldn't have been able to have this as like my only source of entertainment for that long if I wasn't enjoying it. So like I said, I think I read around 130 something pages. So I'm up to chapter 40, page 268. I definitely have reached the halfway point. I'm actually past the halfway point. Um, I think there's just over 400 pages. So I'm definitely getting there. A very big thing that I think is going to continue to move this book forward just happened. I feel like the big plot thing that was kind of described on like the cover of this book um, is actually like it actually happened halfway through the book so I got to that point so I'm interested to see like where that goes. I am glad that I went into this book knowing that there was going to be such a focus on the two main characters and their relationship, their friendship, their relationship, you know, their bond that kind of grows throughout this book um, because I think if I didn't I would have been disappointed. So the first half of this book being spent focusing on developing their like their bond and their relationship um, didn't really bother me because I went into it kind of knowing it was going to do that. So yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm very interested to see where it ends up going. Um, I know again like there's a sequel coming out so I'm interested to see like where this ends off so that 
the sequel happens um but i definitely am enjoying it so yeah i probably will do a little bit of reading today um i don't know how much just because i spent so much time reading yesterday but i probably will do a little bit i also think i might take some like bookstagram pictures and things like that so i don't really know what the plans are for today i was going to film a couple of videos and then i just didn't feel like it so here we are. I do need to film them at the beginning of the week next week, so I'm hoping that I didn't cause myself more stress and cause a problem for future me by procrastinating now, but I'm hoping it'll be fine. I just didn't feel like filming today, so a lot of times if I don't feel like filming, that's when I get disappointed with videos that I've filmed, so I didn't want to force it. This is a hobby. I do this for fun. I do spend a lot of time doing YouTube stuff, but that's because I enjoy it. I don't want to spend time doing it if I don't feel like doing it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm not going to film today, but that's fine. I'll do it next week, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this up because it's starting to get warm sitting in front of my window with the sun shining in on me, so I'm going to go take some bookstagram pictures, probably start editing this vlog. Who knows? Who knows where the day will take us? <laughs> So I just finished editing everything that I have for this vlog so far, and I think this is going to be a long one because we're already at 16 minutes, so sorry. But also, I was editing the clips of me from the day that the power went out, and I'm literally whispering in those clips. <laughs> like, there was no reason for me to be whispering because I didn't need to be quiet, but it was just with the fans and the AC and literally no electronics and nothing was running, it was so quiet in our house. I was like talking normally felt just way too loud like I felt like I was yelling so I just thought it was funny so if you couldn't understand what I was saying because it was so quiet there are captions available for this video so feel free to turn those on if uh you couldn't hear me <laughs> but yeah that's all I wanted to say for right now I haven't done any reading so that's not good I've only taken like one bookstagram picture that's also not good I think I might make another coffee that's good <laughs> but yeah that's all you've really missed not a whole lot going on over here <laughs> like always <laughs> LOL at me yesterday saying that I didn't feel like filming and me procrastinating was going to cause a problem for future me. I was right. Not even a whole day later and I realized I really should have filmed yesterday, but it's okay. We're just gonna film today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna film today, uh, get myself ready for the videos that I need to post next week. And as for like a reading update, if you're curious, I think I read like maybe five pages yesterday and that might be a little bit generous. <laughs> so not much of an update there. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, um, let you know what was going on. I'm gonna go and do my makeup so I can start filming and just have it be done and not worry about it anymore. <laughs> I feel like I look so weird with red lipstick. I never wear red lipstick so it's definitely a weird it's a weird sight to see but yeah I finished filming so I'm done with that so I don't have to stress about it anymore I just have to edit everything so yeah I finished filming just wanted to update you guys I'm probably gonna go and have some lunch because I'm hungry and then also have some water because my throat is so dry <laughs> now Sunday, uh, final day of this vlog. I don't know why I always forget to vlog on the weekends, but here we are. <laughs> so my plan for today, I think, is to try and finish Wicked Fox because I think I have just over a hundred pages left of the book, so I definitely feel like I could finish it today if I actually read, which is hard, <laughs> but I think I am going to try and finish this because I'm on page, I think, 300. Yes, 300, chapter 49, so I'm getting close to the end, so I would like to finish it before this weekly vlog ends. So that is my plan, but I thought I would do a little bit of a stationary haul because I have a stationary haul, I think, going up tomorrow, so it already is up when you're seeing this. But I keep buying more things, so it's just going to be a never-ending saga. <laughs> so the first thing I got is actually a jewelry organizer, I think, and I'm going to use this to store my washi tapes. Hopefully they all fit in here. I think they will. Um, I'm just hoping that I do have some room to grow with this because <laughs> I do have an unhealthy amount of washi tape So I do hope that there is some room in this and then I'm gonna put this like in the cart that I got in that stationary haul Also in that stationary haul I mentioned that I got the Tombow blue tape refills, but I got the actual like device So that's good. <laughs> and then I got washi tape. This is why I need more washi tape storage I just keep buying washi tape <laughs> and then I had heard good things about these gel pens So this is the Sakura jelly roll pen I could be saying that completely wrong, but this is the white one and this is the black one. I've been looking into getting a new white gel pen because the one that I have isn't very good. Like, it doesn't really write that well on top of things, so I was trying to find one that I think will work. So, I'm going to try this, see how I feel, and then I also got the black one because I figured, why not? I could always use more black pens, always try new ones out, so yeah. 
that is my little stationery haul. <laughs> so I'm going to go and actually try and get some reading done because like I said, I would love to finish Wicked Fox today. So in order to do that, I need to actually read. <laughs> So it is now 3.30 and I have finished Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. As you guys might have just seen, I did give it four stars. I actually haven't read it on Goodreads yet, but I think I'm going to give it four stars. I think this is one of those books that depending on your expectations going into it will kind of determine your enjoyment. I think if I went into this thinking it was going to be more focusing on the fantasy elements and the Korean folklore elements, I would have been disappointed. But because I knew that it focused so much on the relationships and the characters, I wasn't disappointed and I actually liked a lot of that stuff. I liked seeing all the angst with the characters and their relationship and everything happening to them and just the angst in general. It was just a very angsty story. So I definitely enjoyed that part of it. And I do think the Korean folklore aspects were interesting. They definitely are sprinkled throughout this book because that is part of the thing that's bringing the book forward. It's weird to think that there wasn't a huge focus on it because it is such a big part of the plot. But at the same time, you do focus more on the characters. So I do wish that there was more of a focus on the Korean folklore aspect of it. But I did go into it knowing it was going to be about the characters more so than that, so I wasn't too disappointed. But yeah, overall, I thought this was a very fun story. I could see why people love it. I could see why people don't like it. I happened to enjoy it. I think it was fun. I'm interested to pick up the sequel because where this ended, I'm not really sure what's going to happen in the sequel, to be honest. Like, I feel like a lot of the stuff that happened in this was kind of wrapped up. There was like maybe one or two things that kind of were like open-ended, but not necessarily anything that I would think warrants a sequel, but who knows? I'm not going to complain. I really enjoyed this, so I would love to see more of these characters and read the sequel, so we'll see what happens in that. But yes, finished Wicked Fox, and now I think I'm going to actually wrap up this vlog here. I probably am not going to do any more reading today. I think I'm going to pick my next read in my next reading vlog, which will be my birthday vlog. So that's exciting. <laughs> See, I don't think I'm going to do that much reading for the rest of the day, so I figured I could end the vlog here. Let me know if you've read Wicked Fox, what you think of it. I know it's one that a lot of people feel a lot of mixed feelings on, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. But that is going to wrap up this week's reading vlog, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!